There's so much to love about Christmas, right? I mean, you got Santa Claus, you got the Christmas trees, you got Mariah Carey, but sometimes we forget that the story of the nativity actually happened. So we've decided to go on location right here to Israel to find out how it really went down. Today, we are in Nazareth, wow! So, to read today's Bible passage, this is my friend Henry in a shop that he owns in the old city of Jerusalem. This is how Jesus, the Messiah, was born. His mother, Mary, was engaged to be married to Joseph. But before the marriage took place, while she was still a virgin, she became pregnant through the power of the Holy Spirit. Joseph, to whom she was engaged, was a righteous man and did not want to disgrace her publicly, so he decided to break the engagement quietly. Hang on a second. He decided to break off the engagement quietly? I know it's crazy to believe, but girls in the time of Mary got engaged at the age of 12. In fact, a lot of scholars agree that she was between the ages of 13 and 16 when she actually had the baby Jesus. I know that's crazy, please don't switch off. Now add to that, that Joseph by now probably would have paid a considerable dowry to Mary's family to even marry him in the first place. So this was a considerable loss of money and reputation for Joseph and his family. But what really blows my mind is that if Joseph truly believed Mary was pregnant, he knew it wasn't him, then he was required by law to break it off. This was a truly impossible situation. God needed to come through. That's the gist of it. Let's get back to the passage. Joseph, to whom she was engaged, was a righteous man and did not want to disgrace her publicly. So he decided to break the engagement quietly. As he considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a dream. Joseph, son of David, the angel said, do not be afraid to take Mary as your wife, for the child within her was conceived by the Holy Spirit, and she will have a son, and you are to name him Yeshua. For he will save his people from their sins. All of this occurred to fulfill the Lord's message to his prophet. Look, the virgin will conceive a child. She will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel, which it means God is with us. 